Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about uh, my favorite text editor called MC Edit. Um, yeah, I use this editor for mm, 23 years and I really like it. Um, I know some other editors, but yeah, still this this is this is something I, 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 I prefer. Uh, probably the tool that I use the most, like if you consider all possible tools, you know, even terminal emulators, browsers, compilers, shells, MC Edit is the tool I use the most, like, yeah. So why is that? Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's dive into it. MC Edit is a part of Midnight Commander, which is this file manager, which, you know, deserves a video on its own. It's um, based on the ideas from <clears throat> Tupain file managers like Norton Commander from DOS era and so on, which is <clears throat> cool by its own, you know, for browsing and moving files, copying, renaming, um, viewing, deleting, archiving, checking things, deleting, and so on. And if you're new to the Linux, it's actually pretty cool to, to just browse some files and, and try to understand them, to get um, expertise in a file system, <clears throat> like files. Or maybe you're scared of shell and you want, but you want to do something more than with mouse. You you can do things here. Um, um, yeah, it has support for, for for different macros, compression, and so on. But today is not about the editor. Uh, maybe the only thing will change is the color uh, for a second. This is usually how it looks by default, uh, like pale blue, kind of bright with this green green teal selection highlights and white beige windows <clears throat> if it's uh, not looking like that then probably something is changed on, on your system if it's looking too bright or contrast is bad then make sure your terminal editor terminal emulator has a reasonable color palette try playing with that different different terminal emulators and different environments have different defaults um, it should not be too bright other um, should be readable but <clears throat> I used this color for 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 decades but a few years ago I switched to this darker darker thingy uh, this one which is a bit easier on eyes especially when you switch between constantly between like dark shell and editor um, you don't want constantly switching brightness <clears throat> anyway so we'll be using that so let's dive in um, all the features that I'll be showing now are were in MC Edit for for a very long time, I would say decades. Uh, let's start with some simple text file. As you can see, it starts immediately. In fact, it was about less than 10 milliseconds. Uh, we have a cursor. We can do things. Um, so I'm not going to tell you like what exactly key combinations I'm doing or what I'm doing or how I'm doing it. This video is not a tutorial. It's more. Uh, <clears throat> capability to show you what it can be uh, maybe you are a, a new user to Linux or Unix in general or you are not satisfied with some editor and you searching for alternative um, or you know MC Edit already but there's some features uh, that you didn't know you will learn here or maybe you dismissed MC Edit as primitive and, and not useful uh, you will find that there's more to it um, yeah, so I think it's a good editor for, for everybody. Um, not for everybody, not for everyone, but it has potential to be useful for, for and both and new users, new, new, new noobs, I would say. <laughs> Whether you're starting your journey with software or, or, or other text editing, you know, books, LaTeX, reports, scripting, web development, programming, things like that or you're a pro and you do it uh, non-stop and you have millions of lines written already with 20 or 30 years of experience uh, still you can mm, maybe consider switching to MC Edit. Um, I, I wouldn't suggest to actually do that but maybe um, <clears throat> because I'm very productive with it and it Let's let's do some simple things. Uh, we have a bunch of text here. Let's add a few more words. Nothing special. Save file, exit, and we are done, right? Uh, let's do something more. Let's add a few more paragraphs. And now it's kind of ugly, so let's invoke auto formatter. Done. 
uh, there are these weird LLLs, so let's replace by different pattern, fix, reformat, done. Let's add some more calls here. Um, you know, um, this, but then you want, oh, this should be in a branch. How I do it? Let's do something like this. <clears throat> You get the gist. It has capability to do very quick edits, moving around the file, jumping, editing, selecting some some areas or parts of part of areas or selecting words, moving around by word, by by byte, removing things, rearranging, uh, copying, duplicating, removing. Uh, and, and, and many other things, which we'll go into details in a moment. All is done by F keys, function key, F1, F2, F3, F4, and, and so on. Um, um, so it's probably better to have a keyboard with F keys, like not this 60% uh, keyboards, um, which is funny because I actually use 60% keyboard right now. Um, but um, it's also easy to learn because at any time, if you, 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 you if you're new to an editor or editing, there's a kind of help at the bottom and tells you, you know, save, quit, search, move, copy, and so on. Of course, I know this by heart, <clears throat> but it's kind of nice there. And there's also this status bar at the bot at the top. So this looks pretty ugly. There's no color. Everything is like gray. Um, let's go to something more real. Uh, hmm. So, um, let's let's do some uh, coding. So this is a C file that I wrote. Very simple, uh, but it's a very long file, sixty-five thousand lines, and we are at the start of it. Hmm. Okay, let's try to compile it. Oh, syntax error. Um, let's jump to that line. So we can jump there directly. And oh, we see there's an error. Save it, exit, recompile. It works. So that's kind of my style of, of development of software, um, highly iterative. Of course, I know syntax of these languages and libraries and facilities very well, so I do, I do very little mistakes, but I still make mistakes from here here and there. Some, some typos, some syntax errors, some missing argument to library. <clears throat> and, and, <clears throat> and in many languages, uh, you just need to invoke compiler. And yes, some IDEs can help you, but not always. It all depends on a on a on a on a thing you do. Um, so so that's kind of my iteration. Um, I use uh, compilers and, and and build systems that are reasonably fast, so I can do it very quickly. I just jump between editor and and compilation, and I have it in history, right? So let's run now. Remove this bunch of lines there that was just for for a show here we have a syntax highlighting uh, for C it detected that it is C here based on an extension but sometimes it can also detect based on the content for example if there's include at the first line it will probably know that it is C <clears throat> um, or something similar uh, another thing for programming is if you have a cursor over curly braces it will highlight the corresponding closing curly braces you can press Alt B to go to there, and its opposite is also the same. The same works for normal braces and also square brace, square square brackets. That's kind of nice when you have a very complex, you know, operations where you don't know what's going on and what is being, what is where. Yeah, that that kind of helps with things to to kind of guide you. Oh, that's 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 this one. Yeah, so we can cancel editing and go back. Everything's good. We compile and it's working, no error. Let's go to something com more complicated and do some editing. So this is a script in Python um, that was initially bash and needs a bit of a cleanup. It is working, but we, we need to change some things. Like this equal needs to be changed. Because in Bash you need to have no no spaces around equal, but in Python you prefer to have space. So how we do that? Well, well some regex magic, magic I guess. Um, regex matching. 
uh, but we don't want to do it like one 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 uh, so we'll just do select this entire select entire block repeat replace in a section confirm replacement of everything 59 replacement done looks good uh, we didn't affect this one because uh, we use perf you know some regex magic uh, now we need to ad adjust this uh, indentation here mm -hmm. you can do this by hand that's okay and you know who is in a hurry it takes just a few seconds but maybe we can do a little bit better so we copy just three spaces and copy it that's okay but you know if it's uh, a bit more than uh, 10 uh, maybe there's something better we can do let's unveil block marking so i just selected a column a rectangular selection using this mark columns and i'll copy it <clears throat> and now we are indented everywhere aligned we do some general other stuff uh, maybe we want this to be shorter and uh, not have version so we I'll do another block selection remove and we are done you know <clears throat> Things like that um, are possible. This is just a uh, demonstration. Uh, let's say we don't need, we want this to be now in a function. So we'll select again this branch. We'll indent it by some magical combination of keys, and we are indented. Let's say these things are not really supported anymore, and there might be more cases. Uh, we'll do some more fancy. Regexps that we can do, and now are they commented? Uh, with two, there is no point of doing this with regex. You can just do it manually, but maybe there's some other places you wanted to do it. <clears throat> so selecting blocks and operating on blocks is very very common. We can, for example, select uh, this non-rectangular block. It's just not just lines. It's exactly these bytes and remove it. Now we remove the support for old code, fix some typos, remove some code that is not doing anything, and have it and maybe run it. Right. Um, so so that's all good. Um, the MC Edit also has a syntax highlighting for other languages, like right? HTML example. Um, and here we can see various colors. We can also see this marker here, because uh, there is a space there. After Y, there is a space and a new line. Usually you don't want that. So we go there and delete that. <clears throat> That's kind of nice. We remove some other things. And we can clean this up. Uh, let's say XML. XML doesn't have a very complex highlighting. It's like slightly brighter tags uh, and some colors if you have some attributes. Um, but <coughs> this file is very long. Let's say we want to go to first line, remove some syntax errors and add some spaces or rename things mm -hmm. um, it's hard to say how to do it there's many ways to do it and it changes one by one maybe we want to do it only some some of them like every second and then we are done so we cancel and we are done or maybe we want everything, we say everything please, 99,000 replacement done. <clears throat> or maybe we want to undo it. Um, then we will need to have a copy. <laughs> uh, for simpler undos, we can um, just edit file. For example, edits, uh, remove things, or maybe move, move things around. <clears throat> remove some other worlds and now we hmm, we want to undo it so we can undo with word by word with control u which is very handy or we can say not don't save on close and we are back to where we started uh, if you <clears throat> so these are these are ma major major things uh, in this editor 
if you go with F9, you will see all the other options available. For example, copying uh, to a file. So Control F, enter, and we can open another file, maybe new file, and paste it. Yeah, we can also select and paste it using X11 clipboard. We can do selections inside. We can press use mouse to navigate menus and so on and so on. This is very useful for seeing like previous searches, which might be some complex regexps. They are remembered. So it doesn't remember just position in files. <coughs> it also remembers <coughs> previous replacements strings. And um, another thing worth mentioning is that there is a config file uh, and configuration. So not this one. It's not a lot, but there's some options that you can modify. Um, I usually don't use confirm before saving. And everything is up to you. You should experiment. I recommend removing this fake half tabs because it's enabled by default. And I think it's a very, very bad choice. Please, please, please disable this. Please, very, 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 very pretty. Please don't use that. Um, it makes everybody annoyed uh, that reviews your code, including yourself uh, later. You can also change syntax highlighting, uh, key maps, uh, menu files, and so on. Um, there are some other things to run external tools, spell checkers, record macros, change languages, and everything else is mostly the things that are in this uh, three first menus, file, edit, search, and some of in command. Mm, you will never use it through menu. Uh, you will learn all the shortcuts to, to, to do that. Yeah. Um, another feature is autocomplete. So if we do something like sub and I press control space, which is uh, not a default, I have a, <coughs> a tab completion. Yeah. So uh, R, yeah. It, it can do some simple substitutions and, and search in a file. If you are into <coughs> more advanced usages like uh, C tags, it can do it too. It cannot do super, super like advanced stuff like jumping between files probably um, or or some other languages that is probably something that uh, would be nice to have in this editor um, but i don't think there's enough enough will and manpower to do it right now um yeah but maybe something for the future and there's some uh, text editor te sorry um, config files for example key files so you can reconfigure it to, to your liking and un unlock some of the things that are disabled by default. And also syntax files are kind of easy to add to new, for new languages. And macros and, and menus and so on. So for example, in this hello, hello C, there's this user menu, F11. I don't have F11 on my keyboard, so this is why I needed to do it manually there. You can add some kind of snippets and, and common things you do. So that, that's, an, that's an option. And that's mostly it. It supports many languages in the sense of uh, highlighting, syntax highlighting. Um, it's very stable and very fast. Uh, yeah, that is all. Uh, I hope you will consider this editor for one reason or another and if you do i hope you will find it useful and effective if not that's still fine uh, everybody has different preferences and that is all for today bye bye see ya